project number two. The description of this one is we're going to make a 782 from the ground up. These are all parts out of my uh, salvage yard. I have a frame from a 782. I have miscellaneous parts. My goal is I've always wanted a white hooded 782. I think to make them look really good, I'm going to have a red body, white hoods. Now, this looks like a model kit, and it's, it's every one of these items has been taken off one of my machines that I've had come in over the years, and I'm going to build one from the ground up. Now, the motor option, I'm not really positive about. I thought about putting a KT-17, I thought about putting a Series 217, an M18, a Command 18, and I also thought about making another Kubota diesel with 1103 motor. I am not sure on this project exactly where I'm going, but for today, we're going to go around and show you how few parts there really is to put together a 782. Now, this hood and nose piece is off a 1050. The decals are going to be my toughest uh, deal to deal with to build this project. So we're going to go around and show you what these parts look like out of the machine. And eventually you're going to see them back in the machine. So right here is the hoods. Right here is the hood hinge. These are the pieces that hold the front nose piece. Obviously, here's your raw steering box, your steering wheel, and this is a grommet that goes around your dash. There's your tail lights, your grill. I'm going to put a new kingpin in. Now, I am going to use a red axle, and the reason um, I put a new kingpin in on a red axle compared to a black axle, the red ones have, to take up your tension, they have threads in the inside of the kingpin on the front end, on the back side. So I decided I want to make a red axle 782. There's a new kingpin. Front wheels. Use the inch pilots. Obviously, here's the frame. I'll get this shifter a little bit shined up. I will make a future video on here is all the hydraulics. I have the option to put dual remotes on it, but I probably will keep it to single. The side panels are over here. The tunnel cover's here. Now, I have thought about putting a white tunnel cover on it. I'm not positive sh for sure yet. There's the seat bracket. I'm going to put a Cub Cadet uh, dash in it. Obviously, here is your hydrostat. Here's the screen that goes on the bottom for the grass. Your brake rods and springs. Your fuel tank. And this piece right here is your grommet that goes around your firewall. And that is very important to put in there. It takes the vibration out of your side panels. I'm going to put a red battery tray in it. Red fenders. Now, I bought a machine today that has a little bit better fenders on it, so I probably will not be using these fenders because they have, somebody painted them with a rattle can, I wet sanded them, and obviously in a few places I went a little bit too far. But I do have a good set of fenders coming in. I am going to keep them red, put new floor mats on them, and I believe this project is going to look pretty good. And right here is some rear wheels. That's the build. I appreciate you tuning in. Please like and subscribe. My future videos are going to be putting the steering box in and putting the hydraulics on it. That's one area I have not covered in my videos as of yet. But stay tuned. This is going to be an exciting build. I haven't decided. I will announce on my next video which motor I'm going to put in it. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next MacLand video.